Welcome to another episode of Entrepreneurs of Fuego. We're documenting the journey of incredible entrepreneurs. I've been meaning to talk to this man for a long time. Brian Hill, man, how you doing? How you doing, Francisco? Phoenix Fashion Week. Jump in. Phoenix Fashion Week is all about emerging designers and buyers. Um, it's, it's amazing. We locally are building young fashion brands from the ground up for the business side of fashion, though, so they can have a sustainable brand that can hire, grow, stay local, and have success globally. And, 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 and you mentioned something, the, the key word for me, what I'm listening is sustainability, right? Correct. Because uh, a fashion designer, I mean, you can wake up in the morning or get your inspiration in the evening, you can design something, but that's just a chimera, that's just a thought, that's just something on paper. To make that a business, that's an entirely different animal. It's a different animal. You have to have um, a plan, a vision, execution, and commitment. Commitment, passion goes so far, right. but commitment means you gotta hustle and you gotta stay through the good and the bad. Correct, there's hurdles every single day in fashion. People like you, don't like you. You gotta force through those all the time. And to be passionate, like you said, is, is mandatory, but not enough. And, and with, with, with fashion, it's so fickle too, though. It is. I, I mean, you can have a brand. When was the last time you saw FUBU? I I'm, I'm just saying, I mean, just, just for instance, right? For sure. Uh, he grew up and he just blew up and he was so strong, made people billionaires and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then it's gone, right? Exactly. I mean, I, I don't see it. Right, right. And we hope that you, you make your money and you move on to other things like you and I, right? Go on to consulting or support other new brands, equity stakes in other brands, hopefully, right? Rather than burn through the money and be done. It happens a lot in fashion, though. That, that's what happens, right? So the outlook that you would give a fashion entrepreneur is design, execute, and make the most out of it. Don't hang your hat and think that this is gonna be a long-term project, work for the short term, right. blow it up, and then exit. Uh, control cost, make as much revenue as possible, put as much away as possible, as fast as possible. That's what I would say, right? Second, you gotta be thinking for the future, which is not designing for the next 40 years. It's a short window, so take advantage of that. But I think because of emerging designers, emerging talent in general, they get so excited about the success, the autographs, the book signings, et cetera, and they forget about it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be short-lived. It's hard to be a, um, a Tommy Hill figure, it's hard to be a brand, it's hard to be a you know Ralph Lauren. It, and, and one shouldn't, what I'm hearing from you, one, one shouldn't get too enamored with their own name, uh, but rather look and focus a little bit more into the business side of it. Correct, I mean, there's all kinds of revenue streams in every brand if you actually see them right. and execute them, right? So again, systems, operations, great teammates, which is bottom line, you can't have any brand without a good team. All those kinds of things have to come together. And then going back to that crazy execution and commitment and being super disciplined. How did you get into this whole fashion? I mean, yeah, you, you yeah. look dapper, man. Thank I mean, you, by the you. way, that, I, I, gotta, I gotta say, I mean, you look phenomenal. You're well put together. And, and in fact, you are a walking brand. Thank you, I am. Phoenix Fashion Brand. Because if, if people saw you not well put, it's like, <laughs> what do you mean, fashion? You know, it's, it's not, it's, there's right. something that is not right there, right? right. That it doesn't compute, right. but you're well put together. So how did you get into this, this business here? With sure, this you know, I think going back to being a young kid, I was always an entrepreneur, right? So mowing lawns and, and shoveling snow. So I was always into that whole do my own thing, right? And then I went to college at ASU, I made t-shirts on campus. That's how it started. And I, I fell in love with it. So making t-shirts that people gave me money for, I was like, this is amazing. It's something that came out of my mind that someone was giving me something out of their pocket for. How can I do more of this? And so I really got, the, the bug was bitten at that point. And uh, from there I've had tons and tons of mistakes, tons and tons of failures, tons. But I just have no fear and I just keep going. I learn and keep going, learn and keep going. And build a great team around that also shares in that same kind of commitment, crazy execution, and discipline. And, and that's what uh, we hear over and over, Brian, from our entrepreneurs that, uh, that come here to Entrepreneurs in Fuego, is that the hardest part is surrounding yourself with the right team. Sure. You see it, you have the passion, you have the commitment, you're executing, 
how can you find people that are like-minded that are going to share on that philosophy, that are going to share on that passion? That's the hard part. It is. I mean, the team, um, there's been tons of people who don't make it with us, right, for the long haul. And so I'm always trying to figure out, myself should be, number one, the hardest worker on the team. And then by osmosis, you would think everyone else would be hard workers, but you've got to motivate them by having a clear message and vision and executing every day yourself, right? So you can't just be about it. You've got to do it yourself. So that they can see you, that you're, that you're doing it, that you're not afraid to get your hands dirty, you are doing it yourself, and so they will pick up on that. That's correct. And then continue to communicate why we're doing it and what the, what the outcome is if we continue to do it. So always communication is, is super important. If they don't know why you're doing it, but you're picking up the trash, they're like, okay, he's picking up the trash. But I say take out the trash, me personally, and do it the best you can when you take out the trash. Yep. When you're mailing clothing, do the best you can when you're mailing clothing. Everything should be the best every time. And then you keep communicating that, and then more people can duplicate that. What do you got in this bag, man? Oh, all kinds of goodies. This is, this is, this is, this is swag. I mean, people love this. Um, oh, this is a swag bag. This is a swag bag. So we put all kinds of goodies and fashionable giveaways and things like that. So oh, if cool. you make it into our, into our front row, you get one of these great goodie bags. Oh, well, you are in the front row. We have no more rows. Right? And this That's is it? yours. Oh, this uh, is yours. Awesome, awesome. I appreciate that. All right. So in your life, in, in this, what is the most... Um, let's talk about the success story that you've seen. Somebody come in, they have to have had a lot of things lining up for them. All the starts needed to be lined up from maybe humility to, to talent, of course, yes. to an investor that just by happenstance happened to walk. Do, do you recall a, a one brand or one person or one individual that, that had those qualities? Well, I think there's a lot of qualities I'm looking for, right? Um, everyone that had success with me have had tons of failures first. So the designers I'm working with, it's not working for them. They are talented, but it's not coming together. The roadmap's not there. Success is not there. The sales aren't there. The bank account's empty. And so I see talent and I see hard work and I see a good quality product. And I help to kind of reshape that whole deal, give them the blueprint and then stay on them to execute the blueprint. And that map is really for success. You have to have an uncanny ability to, because I, I'm <laughs> sure you got like a million people coming to you, right? Sure. Oh, I, I'm, I'm the next, uh, you know, hill figure, or yeah, whatever. All the time. All the time, right? But how do you, how do you, you have to have, it's like a photographer, right? Yeah. I mean, all of us can, can just s snap pictures, but, sure. but there is the artist sure. that is separated from the actual photographer. And you're an artist mm -hmm. in the sense that you are seeing something that perhaps nobody else is seeing and the talent in, in, in that. It, it, how do you how do you find that? Well, I, I'm op people are open to change, first of all, right? So when they say that you do the same exact thing expecting a different outcome, right. I exactly. go opposite of those people. <laughs> the people that want something new, that are okay with changing, that's what I'm looking for. So by asking them a series of questions and hearing their background and backstory, when I continue to hear the same failures, I can hear patterns in their dialogue. But when I hear someone that says, I'm just tired of that way, I want a new way, and I think you're, you're my way to get there. I like that kind of person. You, you want somebody that is open mm -hmm. to listen. Yes. That even if they have an ego, that's okay. They put the ego aside and I'm like, right. maybe this guy knows a little bit more about, <laughs> about, about the industry than I do. Maybe I should just tie myself to him so that I can be successful. Correct. And that's what you, that, that's what you And our message to young designers always is, it's a win-win for us. We're in it together. I succeed when you succeed. And so really what I'm telling you is for success. When they actually buy into that, they understand that I really want them to succeed. Is it true what, what's old is new? Yeah, it, it, it cycles. It comes back. It's, it comes back, it, right? It comes back. It comes back. I mean, it's never going to be out of style. I mean, and today with Instagram and the social media, everything is like right now, someone can go back into the 1940s, get into a Vogue magazine, right. and start rocking that on Instagram, and it, it'll, be ba it'll be back that quickly. One thing, please explain to me, why did fedoras go out of style? Yeah, they're not out of style. They're still here. <laughs> Well, you got, you, yeah. you're rocking yeah, one, yeah, yeah. which is really cool. <laughs> but you know, back in the day, you see yes. every, every right. gentleman sure. with their nice fedora and stuff, and then all of a sudden you never... I think, I think in general, we're just dressed down society more so than in the past decades. Does it bother you that, that we're dressing down? I don't think so, because the guys that actually dress up, they look way better. They stand out. 
they do stand they up, do. right? They do. I mean, if, if you're if you're taking care of yourself, but it's not yeah. just the clothes, right? I yeah. mean, it's the, the entire package. Oh, it's you a whole lifestyle. To, it, exactly. It, it is. It's a healthy lifestyle, um, you know, from inside and out. I think it, it naturally people can see it and feel it. Back in the day, they used to call those metrosexuals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What are they? What are they to call them now? I have no idea. Yeah. But now, now, now yeah. it's just you got to be fashionable. That's right? true. There you That's go. True. Brian, man, my pleasure. I appreciate, it. and you know, we've been we've been trying to get you here for the longest time. So I am very humbled, and I appreciate it. Thank you for the for the bag. You got we're, it. We're gonna rock it, man. You're gonna have to come back again. I'll be I mean, back anytime. And, and and we're gonna have to do the radio show too because okay. I, I think um, to to get you know Phoenix Fashion Week to get you there on the radio and to transmit the message and to tell the young designers, mm -hmm. hey. This, you're hearing it from me. This is what you need to do in order to be successful. Exactly. And if they're not doing it, then they're just being toned and down. And I'll bring some designers with me next time, too. That will oh, we'll that? rock it. That will rock it. Thank okay. you so much, man. Appreciate it. Thank Brian. you. With that, we're out.